In today's video, we're exposing 10 medications that might be secretly damaging your kidneys beyond repair. Not only will we spotlight these hazardous drugs, but we'll also guide you through safer options to ensure your kidney health remains intact without sacrificing your treatment effectiveness. Plus, we'll arm you with the knowledge to spot the early warning signs of kidney damage, helping you address any concerns promptly. 1. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs for short, are fairly well known. You might know these as the go-to pills for knocking out pain or reducing inflammation. While they're super popular for those reasons, there's a downside. They can actually harm your kidneys. A big review of research, which looked at over 1.6 million people, found that taking NSAIDs can up your risk of getting acute kidney injury. This is serious stuff because it means your kidneys suddenly struggle to filter out waste from your blood. Now, why does this happen? NSAIDs can mess with a crucial process in your kidneys involving something called prostaglandins. These are like the peacekeepers ensuring everything in your kidney runs smoothly. But NSAIDs can throw a wrench in the works, leading to issues like inflammation inside the kidneys and damage to the tubules, which are part of the kidney's filtration system. Some folks even ended up needing steroids or stopping NSAIDs altogether to help their kidneys recover. So, are there safer options? Yup. Acetaminophen, you might know it as Tylenol, is often suggested as a kinder alternative for pain relief that's less risky for your kidneys, as long as you stick to the recommended doses. Lastly, it's key to know the signs of kidney damage from medications. Watch out for swelling in your feet and ankles, feeling more tired than usual, or changes in how often you're peeing. Spotting these signs early and getting medical advice can make a big difference. Two, antibiotics like aminoglycosides. These antibiotics are pretty effective against some tough bacterial infections, but here's the catch. They can be hard on your kidneys. Studies have shown that up to one-third of kids who take these meds could end up with acute kidney injury, which is sudden kidney damage. Why does this happen? The drug tends to hang out in certain kidney cells after your body tries to filter it out. There, it can accumulate and cause cell damage through a process that leads to the cells dying and clogging up the works inside your kidneys. This makes it tough for your kidneys to do their job, which is to get rid of waste from your body. So is there a safer way? Yes, doctors often recommend using other antibiotics that aren't as tough on your kidneys, especially for folks who already have kidney issues or are at high risk for them. There's also a method called extended interval dosing, which means you take the drug less often. This approach has shown promise in adults for reducing kidney damage without losing the antibiotic's effectiveness. But what should you look out for if you're worried about kidney damage? Key signs include making less pee than usual and having higher levels of a waste product called creatinine in your blood. It's super important for doctors to keep an eye on these signs to catch and manage AKI early. 3. Proton Pump Inhibitors Let's chat about a type of medication called proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs for short. These meds are often the go-to for treating issues like heartburn and acid reflux. However, they've been linked to some serious kidney problems. Research shows that taking PPIs, especially for a long time, can increase your risk of developing acute kidney injury, chronic kidney disease, and even lead to kidney failure or higher chances of dying from kidney-related issues. So why are PPIs potentially harmful to your kidneys? The truth is, scientists are still trying to fully understand how PPIs cause this damage. Despite their popularity and the general belief that they're safe, there's strong evidence suggesting they can harm your kidneys over time. Are there safer options? Yes, H2 blockers are considered a less risky choice for managing acid-related problems like acid reflux and GERD. Besides medication, Making certain lifestyle changes can also help manage these conditions without the need for drugs that might harm your kidneys. What signs should you look out for to spot kidney damage from PPI use? The symptoms might not be super obvious at first, but keep an eye out for things like swelling from fluid retention and changes in how often you pee. Given these risks, it's really important for both doctors and patients to think carefully about using PPIs, especially for the long haul. Whenever possible, consider using safer alternatives to protect your kidney health. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by dropping your comments in the comment section. 4. 
diuretics. Diuretics are medications which doctors often prescribe to help with fluid retention in situations like heart failure, high blood pressure, and certain kidney issues. Diuretics work by making you pee more to get rid of extra fluid in your body. Sounds helpful, right? But there's a catch. If not used carefully, diuretics can lead to dehydration and make your kidneys work less effectively. Why are diuretics considered risky? The main reason is that they can reduce the amount of fluid in your body too much, leading to dehydration. For people who already have kidney problems or who don't use these meds as they should, the risk is even higher. Is there a better way to handle this without risking your kidneys? Absolutely. One of the best strategies is making lifestyle tweaks, like cutting down on salt. This can naturally help reduce fluid buildup without needing to rely so much on diuretics. Also, it's super important to have a doctor keep an eye on how much you're using and adjust it as needed, especially if you have chronic kidney disease. What signs of kidney trouble should diuretic users watch for? Keep an eye out for symptoms that might indicate your body's balance of minerals and salts is off, like feeling super thirsty or dizzy. These can be signs that the diuretics are affecting your kidneys. 5. ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors are a group of meds super important for treating high blood pressure and heart failure. They work by messing with a system in your body that regulates blood pressure. But there's a downside. A study from the University of Virginia School of Medicine found that long-term use of these drugs could harm your kidneys. How? By causing certain cells to change and start attacking the blood vessels in your kidneys, making these vessels thick and stiff. This messes up blood flow in the kidneys. Now why are we worried? For folks with kidney issues to begin with, ACE inhibitors can make things worse. They can mess with your body's fluid and salt balance, leading to high potassium levels and even swelling in some parts of the body due to an allergic reaction. So what can you do instead? It really depends on what you're treating, but one alternative could be angiotensin receptor blockers, which are similar but might be safer in some cases. No matter what, it's super important to keep an eye on how these meds affect you, especially your kidneys. If you're on an ACE inhibitor, watch out for signs of kidney trouble, like higher levels of creatinine and potassium in your blood, which your doctor can check. 6. Angiotensin II Receptor Blockers All right, let's talk about angiotensin II receptor blockers, or ARBs for short. These meds are a go-to for managing high blood pressure, heart failure, and certain kidney issues, especially for folks with diabetes. They work by blocking some proteins in your body to keep your blood vessels chill and open making it easier for blood to flow through. While ARBs are generally liked because they don't cause as many side effects as another group called ACE inhibitors, they're not without their own risks, particularly for people who already have kidney problems. Why might ARBs be a concern? In some cases, like if someone has a specific kind of kidney disease called renal artery disease, ARBs can actually make kidney function worse. That's why if you're taking ARBs, your doctor will want to keep a close eye on how your kidneys are doing which usually means regular blood tests. The most common side effect people feel with ARBs is dizziness, but there's also a significant caution against using them during pregnancy because of the risk of harm to the baby, including kidney failure and birth defects. If ARBs might be risky, what else can you do? It all comes down to finding the right balance for your specific health situation. This might involve looking at different meds or tweaking your treatment plan. Keeping track of how your kidneys are doing and your body's potassium levels is key. 7. Lithium. Lithium is a key player in managing bipolar disorder and recurrent depression. While it's super effective, its long-term use comes with a hitch. It can lead to chronic kidney disease. Studies show that folks on lithium have a higher chance of developing CKD than the average Joe. One study found that 12% of lithium users hit stage 3 of CKD, meaning their kidneys were starting to have a tough time keeping up. The decline in kidney health tends to kick in early after starting lithium, but getting to the really bad stages like stage 4 or end-stage kidney disease is actually pretty rare. The longer you're on lithium and the older you are when you start, the higher your risk of running into kidney trouble. So how do we keep things safe? Monitoring is key. Checking in on how your kidneys are doing and managing other health risks like high blood pressure can make a big difference. Although lithium can mess with your kidneys in various ways, Keeping a close eye on things can help catch issues early. If you're taking lithium, watch out for signs like feeling super thirsty, peeing a lot, or a dip in how well your kidneys work. 
Catching these early means you might need to rethink your treatment plan. 8. Chemotherapy drugs. Chemotherapy drugs are a key weapon in the fight against cancer, but they come with a catch. They can be tough on your kidneys, a problem known as nephrotoxicity. This means they can cause acute kidney injury or even lead to long-term kidney issues. Different chemotherapy drugs have different impacts on the kidneys. Some can cause renal diseases and mess with your body's electrolyte balance. For instance, drugs like bisphosphonates might settle in the kidney's tubular cells, causing them to die off, which can lead to tubular necrosis and AKI. This issue usually shows up as a slow increase in creatinine levels in your blood, which is a waste product that your kidneys filter out. Other drugs might cause something called thrombotic microangiopathy, which damages the blood vessels in the kidneys and can lead to AKI and chronic kidney problems. To prevent kidney damage, it's crucial to keep a close eye on kidney function before and during chemotherapy. Adjusting dosages based on how well the kidneys are working is key. This careful balancing act is especially important for people who already have kidney issues or are at high risk for AKI. Look out for signs of kidney trouble like rising levels of creatinine and urea in the blood or producing less urine than usual. These signs can hint at AKI, so it's essential for anyone getting chemotherapy to be monitored closely to catch and deal with kidney issues as soon as possible. 9. Pain relievers with opioids. Pain relievers that contain opioids are powerful but come with serious risks, especially concerning kidney health. The connection between opioid use and acute kidney injury is pretty complex but important because AKI can lead to more severe health problems and even increase the risk of death. Opioids might cause kidney damage indirectly by leading to dehydration, low blood pressure and a muscle breakdown condition called rhabdomyolysis, all of which can trigger AKI. For those with chronic kidney disease or on hemodialysis, managing pain is still crucial but it's vital to choose the right type of opioid and dose to avoid worsening kidney problems. Since kidney failure affects how drugs are broken down in the body, the dosage of opioids needs to be adjusted carefully. To lower the chance of kidney damage from opioids, doctors recommend trying pain management options that don't involve opioids whenever possible. When opioids are necessary, precise dosing and close monitoring are key. Signs that opioids might be harming your kidneys include general symptoms of kidney damage, such as increased levels of creatinine and urea in your blood, and symptoms specific to AKI from rhabdomyolysis, like making less urine than usual. 10. Antiviral drugs. Antiviral drugs are crucial for fighting viruses, but some can be tough on your kidneys, especially if you already have kidney problems. Drugs like Cedofovir, Adafovir, and Tenofovir are known to cause acute kidney injury through various means, such as damaging the cells in your kidneys or causing blockages inside your kidney tubes with crystals. This damage can lead to severe kidney issues, including tubular dysfunction, where your kidney tubules struggle to do their job, acute renal failure, which is a rapid loss of kidney function and kidney stones. These problems happen because some antiviral drugs can mess up how kidney cells work, hurt the cells directly, damage cell energy centers, or cause crystals to form that block kidney tubes. To lower the risk of kidney damage from these antiviral meds, doctors might adjust the dose, make sure you're well hydrated, and consider using different antiviral drugs if possible. Watching out for early signs of kidney trouble, like changes in how much you pee or signs of AKI, is key. Also, checking how well your kidneys are filtering blood before starting these drugs, avoiding mixing them with other meds that are hard on the kidneys, and regular checks on kidney health can help keep your kidneys safe while you're fighting off a virus. Now you know about 10 medications that may be damaging your kidneys, but you may not know about the vegetables that you should be cautious of when it comes to your kidney health. If that's you, watch this video where I'll talk all about 10 vegetables that are destroying your kidneys.